Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Now a question I often get is, which solar panel will work with my power station? In light of this question, I bring you this new video. This video is quite simply about what a solar panel is and what it does. To this video, we have five parts. A short unboxing video, a comparison of solar panels, how to plug into the power station, and then a series of wiring, and then finally, how to choose. Markers are down in the timeline. Feel free to jump ahead where is most convenient for you. First up, the Afri 200 watt solar panel. Panel cables, manual, folded, it's compact, unfolded, it's long. This device has a conversion efficiency of over 93% with a maximum DC output of 100 watts at 9.9 .9 volts. It supports PD 3.0 fast charging for USB outputs. It can deliver up to 18 watts. Now, the Afri 400 watt solar panel. Bigger body, more folds, perfect for vans, patios, or a base camp. It provides a maximum DC output of 65 watts at 13.2 volts with a maximum current of three amps. Just like the previous model, it supports PD 3.0 fast charging. For USB outputs, it also supports up to 18 watts. Both output MC4 and monocrystalline cells, and don't worry, they come with under voltage, over voltage, short circuit, and overheat protection in order to keep your devices safe. Short answer, one light, go for the 200 watt. One faster charging, go for the 400 watt. Right, let's go for a clean series demo and plug it in. Plug in is simple, MC4 to your adapter. Two MPPT input on the power station. You should see the watts climb. Point the solar panels directly at the sun, trying to avoid shade. This will really help a lot. The components inside a power station have certain voltage limits, and if you go above that voltage limit, you'll damage the inside of the power station and the charging. Now, how do you look at this solar panel and determine whether it's going to work with this power station? In the pouch here, if you open up, there's a bunch of details that is quite important to look at. So, here we have the voltage at max power, the current at max power, the open circuit voltage, and the short circuit current. But I would say the most important two we need to be looking out for is the open circuit voltage and the voltage at max power. So, you may ask the question, hey, is this particular solar panel compatible with this power station? You need to take a look at your user's manual and the specifications on your power station. You need to be looking for the max voltage output on the solar panel and on your power station. As long as the max voltage output on the solar panel is under that of the power station, you should be compatible. Let's give you a quick demonstration. Afri P310 XT90 has a maximum input of 160 volts, meaning that I can hook up a solar panel that goes up to 160 volts without damaging this power station. Now, it's also important to know that it can charge up to 200 watts with solar charging. Now, I want to quickly explain how to calculate this power. The formula for power is voltage times amperage equals watts. So the voltage and the amperage work together to give you the total power from your solar panel. Think of voltage like the pressure in a water hose. It's the force pushing the electricity through the wire. Amperage is like the amount of water flowing through the hose. It's the volume of electricity. Together, voltage and amperage create the flow of electricity. So this solar panel is compatible with this power station because it won't go over the max voltage input. Now, when talking about amperage, we don't need to worry about that because these power stations automatically limit the amperage. You've got to picture it as the solar panel is a pool of energy that's available and the power station is going to draw the amount of power that it needs. The solar panel is not forcing the power into the power station unless you go over the voltage. It's basically waiting ready to be used and the power station will pull the power in. So it's actually limited. 
This one has either 20 amp input limit, so putting a giant set of solar panels on this power station would be a waste because it's only going to pull 20 amps. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to a different scenario and see how it works. When you go to connect a solar panel in series with another solar panel, what you do is end up taking the positive one of one solar panel and connecting it to the negative end of another solar panel. What you do then is take all that away in line like a really long snake. And so what happens is the voltage is added up and the amperage stays the same. So on these larger power stations, you can actually get to the maximum amount of charging. Afray solar panels are brand agnostic. That means they work with any brand of power station. You just need to check two things. That's it. Voltage. Open your power station manual and find the MPPT max voltage. Here, if the wire panels in series add up, which means they don't go over the max, leave some room for cold weather. VOC creeps up pretty quickly when it's cold. Number two, port. Ours use MC4, but most brands use Anderson or XT90. All you gotta do is find the right adapter. You can find more information inside the manual. Why we keep it simple? Solar panel is essentially just a large charger. It can offer more watts than what your power station can take. The power station just limits the watts. The big safety net is in the voltage. If you stay within VOC limits and use the right connector, you're good. Thank you, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments. Also, if you wanna hear from other Afri users or hear some fun chat about power stations or solar panels, please feel free to join our great Facebook community. Also, if you let us know down in the comments, your power station's VOC limits, we'll reply with a clean safety count. See you next time.